Hello brothers and sisters. We welcome you all to the Sons of God YouTube channel. In today's video, we will be sharing with you all a most recent message from our Lord Jesus Christ. This message was given to John Leary. As we have announced in the past, John Leary's messages are for those who are interested to know more about the refuge, as Jesus has announced that when it's time to enter the refuge, he will let us know. We believe that through John's message, we will be informed when is the right time to start coming to the refuge. So, brothers and sisters, let us not forget to always listen to John's message so that we don't miss any important information from our Lord Jesus Christ. Meanwhile, if you have questions after listening to this message to the end, please let us know on the comment session. God bless you all. Let us pray. The Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and enkindle in them the fire of your divine love. Send forth your spirit that we be created, and you renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit instructed the hearts of the faithful, grant that by the same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise and always enjoy your consolations through Christ our Lord. Amen. Wednesday, July 24th, 2024. Jesus said, My son, you have a world of wars and people desiring authority over people. You have one Lord and you should have me at the center of your lives. I am the only one to worship and follow my commandments. You have chaos and wars because Satan is stirring up hate for other people. I send out my prophets, such as you, my son, so you can spread my word and my messages as your mission. It is not easy to have people listen to my prophets, but my prophets are spreading my word as the sower spreads his seed of my word on the various soils. So be like the seed that fell on good soil where my faithful are producing fruit thirty, sixty, and one hundredfold. Jesus said, my son, when I asked you to have your own refuge as your second mission, you did not realize how important it is to have a refuge protected by me and my angels. It was your ice storm in 1991 when you had your first experience with no electricity in the winter cold for 11 days. You learned how important it is to be able to live independently for several years as during the tribulation. Since you had an inheritance given to you, you could afford a solar system of 34 solar panels for running part of your house on-grid, and an off-grid second system of 12 solar panels for winter power after removing the snow. Both systems are backed up with 12 solar batteries each. I also had you install your own water well that has soft water and low iron. You made some bunk beds and bought some cots for the 40 people I told you to prepare for. You have wood for your fireplace, kerosene for your kerosene burners, and propane for your three Camp Chef ovens for baking bread. You have stored dried food, meals ready to eat, and canned foods. You also have many 55-gallon food-grade barrels full of water. You have vestments, books, hosts, and wine for mass with an altar for your adoration with a monstrance. You have candles, 
a tabernacle, and an Easter candle. I have been giving you instructions on how to set up your refuge when a priest consecrated it. Your messages on setting up refuges have also helped many people in setting up their own refuges. You will need my refuges for your safe havens during the coming tribulation. My angels will help finish up any refuges for what will be needed. So trust in my angel protection and my multiplication of your needs. All refuges will have my luminous cross so you can be healed of any ailments by looking on it. This gives you peace that I will provide for you in the tribulation time. I will bring my faithful into my era of peace later. Thursday, July 25th, 2024 Jesus said, My people, whenever you proclaim my name and my words, expect that you will be persecuted by those people who do not believe in me. To be a Christian before 300 AD and even now, you are risking your life for my sake. All the martyrs have a high place in heaven. This life is a test whether you will come with me or with the devil. Those people who are faithful to me will receive their reward in my era of peace and later in heaven. Be prepared to suffer persecution in this life, but I will protect my believers at my refuges with my angels. Have no fear of the evil ones, as long as you have me with you. My believers are called to worship only me and to strive to convert souls to faith in me, especially your family. Keep close to me in your daily struggles, and your reward will await you in heaven. Prayer Group Jesus said, My people, this bright light that you are seeing represents my blessing that I am giving to everyone here tonight. I know that my faithful are encountering physical struggles, but I want to assure everyone that when you have me with you in my real presence, you should have no worries. I am protecting you every day. When you receive me every day in Holy Communion, you have my protection around you. Trust in me to protect you with my angels. Jesus said, My son, one of my requests to prepare for your next refuge practice run is that you learn the whole process of preparing the dough and baking the bread. Bread is a staple for your meals, and that is why you need to use your recipe to make your bread. Once you are familiar with making bread, you will have confidence to provide bread for your people. Trust in me to multiply your propane, flour, and yeast so you can keep making your bread throughout the tribulation. Jesus said, My people, I have warned you of some major changes that could come about in my church. You do not have to follow any changes that are against my church laws and traditions. You heard one person on your Zoom program tell you that in Canada, they are changing the Stations of the Cross that does not have me present. They were also seeing some changes in the words of the Massachusetts. You will be seeing changes coming to your American church, so be alert to any changes planned from the Synod. Jesus said, My people, after a poor debate performance for Biden, the Democrats forced Biden to step down and he gave the job over to Kamala Harris for the Democrat nominee for president. She is younger, but she has less experience than Biden. There may still be more changes at the Democrat convention. Choosing a president for America will be a crucial choice if your country is to continue free. Pray for the best choice for your people. Jesus said, My people, one of the campaign for president issues in the coming election is how inflation is affecting the budgets of your families. Many families, who may live close to each paycheck, are having difficulties affording food, gas, and a place to live. Many of your necessities are costing you more. Pray for your families that they can have what they need in a reasonable costing house. Jesus said, My people, with tornadoes, storms, and hurricanes you have been seeing many people without electricity in some power outages. 
Without electricity, it has been difficult for some people with no air conditioning, and it is hard to find generators. People are also without much light at night using candles. My son, your new lamps and lithium batteries will be used in your next practice run. You can use three of your batteries to run lights on your three floors of your house. Let this practice run show you how you will be living at my refuges. My Eucharist will be the center of your lives in your perpetual adoration. My real presence will allow me to heal you with my luminous cross and multiply your food, water, and fuels. You will have my angel protection, so have no fear. Jesus said, My people, in my warning I will tell my believers that they will have to come to my refuges for their protection and for their survival needs. It is hard to tell my believers that if they do not come to my refuges, that they could be killed by the Antichrist and his minions. There are not many refuge builders, so this is why I will expand the existing refuges so my believers can be protected by my angels. My son, Saint, Joseph will be building a high-rise and a large church in your backyard to support 5,000 people. Have no fear because I can do the impossible. You will not be the only expanded refuge because I will be expanding most all of my refuges as well. Trust in my protection and my providing your needs for the coming tribulation of the Antichrist. Friday, July 26th, 2024. Saint, and said, My dear son, you have visited my shrine at Saint and de Beaupre for many years, and I thank you for your devotions and your novenas. I am the mother of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and I am the grandmother of Jesus. I came to bless you and your family for all that you are going through now. You have been helping Jesus with your ministries, and we in heaven are grateful for your service. We are praying for all that you do to help souls come to heaven. Keep up your daily prayers, mass, and adoration because we love you so much. I will bring your petitions and your prayer group petitions to my grandson, Jesus. Jesus said, My son, you are seeing grandchildren and even great-grandchildren in the vision on the feast day of Grandmother Saint. And, just as Saint, and brought up the Blessed Mother, Saint, and also loved me and guided me. This is a feast day for grandparents, so you should also teach your children and grandchildren the faith and be a good Christian example for them. Sometimes the grandchildren are taught more about the faith by their grandparents than their parents. So help all of your family come to me the best that you can. We have now come to the end of today's video. Brothers and sisters, let us use this moment to thank our Lord Jesus Christ on the comment session. Let us also use the money to give this video a like, and let us make sure we share this message with everyone, for the salvation of souls. God bless you all.